all today our topic is about the wonderful amazing beautiful the most smart intelligent genius the uh, high q uh, uh, prophet his name is muhammad now muhammad is very famous i mean first like he have a very special qualification as an example he is number one in sexual orgasm he is number one in ability of having sex with women to the point he used to have sex with all his wives in one hour actually not one hour in all time like in in the arabic uh, tradition all days they used, used to say the word sa which means less than 15 minutes imagine the prophet how powerful he is he have looked like he used to line them up in the bed next to each other and he do them all in less than 15 minutes i mean that's amazing however this is not our topic Muhammad, who Muslims, they say to us, he is not God. He is just a servant of God. But yet this guy, he is promising 10 people to go to heaven, including himself. You see, in the front of us here, we have uh, narrated, etc. And this is, uh, etc. And this is the hadith from Sunan al Dawood, etc. And this is Sahih. So don't tell me it's weak and missing some protein, and, you know. So Muhammad, he said, I heard the messenger Allah saying, who is the one who's talking? Messenger of Allah. By the way, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad is just a man. He is not God. But yet they say after his name, always sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did you notice that they never added this signal or this, sorry, symbolic after the name of Jesus or the name of Moses or the name of Ibrahim? Yet they claim that they are, you know, you know messengers of Islam too. Only Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mean uh, Allah sent the blessing on him as they falsely translate, how come we don't see this after the name of Jesus? Have you ever heard a Muslim saying Jesus sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? No. I don't say that. This single will see it always after the name of Muhammad. <clears throat> because Muhammad is the reason for the whole world to be created. Allah himself is the servant of Muhammad and Muhammad is their God. This is why Allah and his angels declare Muhammad. However, this is not our topic. I heard him saying, 10 persons will go to paradise. Hold on, hold on. You know, I like Muhammad, but there is some confusion here. How you know that there is 10 people will go to paradise? Muslims, you say to us that he received the inspiration from God in the Quran. Is that in the Quran? We will say no. Okay, so where he get it from? Ah, I forgot to tell you that not everything about Islam is in the Quran because Allah, he gave a lot of inspirations, but that's not in the Quran. It is in the Hadith. But why it is in the Hadith? Is that the word of God or this is the word of the falafel vendor? You see, the, 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 the lousy religion of Islam, if we can call it a religion, this cult, you don't know even what is the source of Islam. I mean, is Quran? Is it a statement mentioned by Muhammad? Is it both? Uh, you know, if it's both, why? <clears throat> you know, because here, you know, like uh, actually, if you check in the Quran, the Quran is an empty book. 90% of the Islamic capital punishments, or let us say, serious issues, is mentioned in the Hadith, not in the Quran. Like, as an example, in the Quran says, if somebody of you uh, doing uh, lousy like he is a gay beat him with sandals insult him muhammad in the hadith says you kill him okay which one we follow allah order or muhammad order obviously muhammad order but they will say to you well muhammad he anything he say it's from allah anyway so he's god so you will see that we have two books really not one book the quran is not really important as the muslims claim that it is the most important book it is the hadith is the most important book and here Muhammad is practicing his authority as God, the founder of Islam. He is telling them who is going to go to heaven. How you know? How this man knows who is going to go to heaven? And not only that, it's a promise to go to heaven. But still, this is not my topic. My topic here is how stupid Muhammad is. Read with me, please, the following hadith. And this is the true story as it happened, and this is Sahih. So don't tell me it's weak. I know you. I know you, Muslims. I know you. It's weak. No protein. It's not fat enough, etc. The message of Allah was one of ten giving the glad tidings 
And we showed you Muhammad himself saying that, that there is 10 that will go to heaven. And he is one of them, supposedly. He said, Abu Bakr, hey, Abdul, do you have a pen? Please write down the numbers and the names. Abu Bakr is one. Omar is two. Uthman is a three. Ali is four. Talha is five. Zubair is six. Saad is seven. Abdul Rahman is eight. And then Muhammad, he stopped talking. <laughs> but he told us ten. He said there is ten, they will go to heaven. The Abduls are watching. They said to Muhammad, Hey, Prophet, 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 peace upon you. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Hey, Prophet, and who is number nine? Who is number nine? I don't know if you understand what, 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 what they meant by number nine. Because he said there is tens will go ten will go to heaven and he is one of them. So supposedly he will quote nine names because he is the number ten. So they are asking him, who is number nine? He said it's me. <laughs> <laughs> but Muhammad, that will make them ten. You are the supposedly number that will make them nine. <laughs> The idiot, he did not remember that he just said 10. And he thought by asking him, who is number nine? I mean, okay, he thought it's over, you know, like it's me. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> number nine it should not be you. It should be someone else. You are number 10. I just wanted to share this with you. Don't forget to put your... Uh, uh, give it a like and share it with your friends and feel free to download my videos and if you like to contact me you will see the link appearing in the screen in front of you and if you are Abdul I'm so jealous because you have the most super super intelligent prophet and look like Allah not only when he did the plastic surgery for his chest and he installed a dish of faith and dish of wisdom and this is what is killing me a dish of wisdom so after the surgery of plastic surgery, storing a dish of wisdom, <coughs> sorry, yet Muhammad, he says stupid things like this. So I wonder how Muhammad used to be before the plastic surgery and before God installing a dish of wisdom. Hey, by the way, Muslims, do you think wisdom come in dishes? Please, if you think so, please let me know because I want to buy one. Thank you.